Why, hello YouTube, how are you guys doing today? My name is Smalls, and today we have the next episode of the Zombie Apocalypse Weapon Review. If you guys don't know what this series is about, I take a weapon, good or bad, that you could use during the Zombie Apocalypse, and you know, I review it, I give my opinion on it, pros and cons, and so on, so forth. So let's get right into it. If you couldn't guess by the title, today's episode is the Assault Rifle. I have some good AN-94 Black Ops 2 gameplay, courtesy of Overkill, my good friend friend good player thank you very much for the gameplay but let's get right into it first the assault rifle it's it's a it's a good weapon i would definitely recommend the assault rifle any assault rifle pretty much during the zombie apocalypse assault rifles are just a good weapon so let's get into some pros and cons the first pro that i have for this gun it's a common weapon it's a really common weapon i would say besides the pistol the assault rifle is pretty much the most common weapon that you will find pretty much anywhere during the zombie apocalypse not during the zombie apocalypse it's just a common weapon to find like if you go to like say a police station there's just assault rifles lying in the walls i feel like like the assault rifle it's just a very common weapon to get now with the commonness of the weapon the ammo of the weapon is also incredibly common so if you find the assault rifle you're most likely going to find a lot of ammo with the weapon you're going to be set on ammo for an incredibly long period of time you're never really gonna have to worry about ammo with this assault rifle now a lot of assault rifles have this select fire feature where you can go between full auto and semi auto definitely do the semi auto just because I mean the full auto it just gets rid of your ammo way too too fast now I know like I said there will be a lot of ammo for this gun but no you, it's it's not worth it to have the full auto it's unnecessary and it wastes just way too much ammo all right let's get into the next pro about the assault rifle it's pretty much good at any distance you really want it to be good at long distance medium distance short distance whatever you want the assault rifle to be good at it'll be good at I mean the assault rifle it is it's incredibly accurate for long distances if say there's three zombies that are really far away you can just easily shoot them like it's it's not very hard it's a very accurate weapon they usually have very accurate you know iron sights and stuff like that you can really get an optical sight if you really really want to but it's just really good at all sights medium distance it's perfectly fine short distance if it has to be it can work it, it's a one-shot kill no matter what as long as you hit them the zombies in the head obviously so yeah it's just good at any distance that you want it to my last pro for this weapon is it's not very hard to carry I mean it could easily most assault rifles could easily fit in a decent sized backpack or it's very easy just to carry around in your hands it's just it's really not that hard to carry it's not like this giant LMG that's super super heavy and hard to carry and stuff like that it's it's a decent weight it's not incredibly hard to carry it's just it's just an all right decent weight weapon all right let's get in, into some of the cons of the assault rifle i really don't have a lot i really don't have a lot of cons this is a very good weapon very overall just great weapon to have during the zombie apocalypse but one thing i have a con that i do have for it it's not the easiest thing to conceal like say you're you're trying to act helpless i guess if you're being threatened by other humans you can't really hide an assault rifle in your coat unless you have like a really fancy assault rifle you like it's not going to fit in a lot of backpacks unless you have a pretty decent sized backpack you can't really conceal it in a time that you need to like say someone's trying to take your guns you can't necessarily put your assault rifle in your backpack to conceal it or in your coat to conceal it it's just not really going to work my other con for the assault rifle is is that it'll take two hands to shoot with now, if you really think about like a, a, like a pistol or an SMG, if you really have to with the SMG and ex definitely with the pistol, you can shoot that with one hand if you really have to. The pistol is so easy to shoot with one hand. It's meant to shoot with one hand pretty much. The SMG, it's a little harder. The recoil will be a little out of control, but you can if you really have to. The assault rifle, it's usually too heavy that you do need two hands to carry, so you can't like really dual wield assault rifles very well unless you want unless you're like super strong a bodybuilder maybe a little less than a bodybuilder it's it's gonna be difficult to like dual wield this you need two hands to use the assault rifle and be accurate with it so that is kind of unfortunate that is a pro that say a pistol or an SMG would have in comparison to an assault rifle but yeah that's pretty much all I got on the assault rifles I would definitely recommend this gun to have during the zombie apocalypse I would almost say it is a must-have just for like the long distance if you don't have a sniper rifle and a pistol is definitely not going to do it long distance. 
no way in the world. Assault rifle, it's, it's almost essential, I would say. Unless you wait until zombies come really close to you, but if you don't want to take that risk, it's just the way things are going to work. So, yep, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, likes and favorites are always appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys would like to recommend the next gun or weapon, it can be a melee weapon, a gun, any sort of weapon that you can use to kill zombies, you want to recommend it to me, put it in the comment section down below, or you can send me a personal message or you can tweet me any certain way of getting in contact with me that would be absolutely great so yep that's the end of the video like to thank overkill again for the gameplay and i will see you guys later goodbye